the day we're taking a look at these NFL matches, which are happening on Sunday, January 1, 2023, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. Also, check out our perks and join the High Stakes membership. Joining the High Stakes membership is easy, is cheap, but it will help a lot in the growth process of this channel. Plus check out our Patreon in the link down below if you want access for our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting predictions that ends up costing you a lot of time and money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our games for today make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. One more thing before we start, check out our new channel High Stakes Props and Parlays, where you can find our player props and parlay picks predictions, and check out High Stakes DFS Strategy if you are into lineup picks, analysis, and advice for DFS. You will find links for both channels in the description and comments section below. Seattle Seahawks vs New York Jets. I love this matchup for Seattle, I honestly can't believe the Jets are favored in this one, but I'm glad they are because I'm taking the Seahawks all the way here. Yes, the Hawks have lost 3 straight, but they have been against 2 of the best teams in the NFL. This game is filled with intangibles, starting with a raucous home crowd, one of the loudest in the NFL, who can smell a playoff berth. Then you have Geno Smith, with a chance to prove those who wrote him off, the Jets, wrong. You don't think he wants this? Then there is coach Pete Carroll, the former Jets coach, coaching a team everyone thought would be terrible. He has his team on the verge of the playoffs and has a chance to do it against his former team. I love Seattle here. Take the Seahawks getting the points. Our team pick is Seattle plus two points. This is a must win for each team as playoff hopes are on the line. The Jets have had one of the best red zone defenses all year and have allowed 20 points or less in three straight. Seattle has scored over 20 points once in the last three weeks. As is evident by the QB changes, the offense for the Jets has struggled. While Mike White has proven he can move the ball, he's only tossed for touchdowns in one of his three starts. In the red zone, the Jets should be able to hold the Seahawks to field goals, as they allow less than two touchdowns per game. The under is 8-2 in the Jets' last 10. Our total pick is under 42 points. Las Vegas Raiders vs San Francisco 49ers. For San Francisco, a slow start to the season has quickly given way to this group looking like an NFC and Super Bowl favorite. The 49ers haven't lost since all the way back in October, and while the schedule hasn't been overly daunting, eight straight wins is still an impressive feat. With four of their last five games coming at home, having to hit the road for this one is sure to be a slight challenge, as their .500 record on the road leaves quite a bit to be desired. The good news is that they'll be taking on a Las Vegas team with little to play for, which should play right into San Francisco's hands. San Francisco's offense has been doing enough of late to keep the wins coming, especially with Brock Purdy quickly looking like a mainstay at quarterback. It helps to have the league's best defense to lean on, and they should lead the way again on Sunday against the Raiders. San Francisco ranks first in the league in total defense, rushing defense, and scoring defense, while they'll be loving seeing a quarterback making his first career start on the other side. San Francisco's ability to run the ball in their own right, while controlling the ground game of opponents as well, should dictate how this one goes. Dre Greenlaw, 119 tackles, and Fred Warner, 110 tackles, have formed one of the league's top linebacking duos, which should give Las Vegas fits in this one. After a nice middle part of the season, Las Vegas is ending the season much as they started it, riddled with turmoil and struggling to find success. A loss last week, which saw them blow a 10-point lead, dashed their little remaining playoff hopes, leaving the faithful fans and front office questioning what went wrong this season. With plenty of big names on both sides of the ball, as well as money spent in the offseason to bring in some talent as well, not making the playoffs is a difficult look. Las Vegas Does have a winning record at home this year, sitting at 4-2, and even despite some changes in the lineup, being at Allegiant Stadium should give them an instant boost. The Raiders are yet to see a defense as strong as San Francisco's this season, while not seeing a team as complete overall in months. Even at home, Sunday afternoon's matchup could be a difficult one, as the season draws to a close. San Francisco will dominate this game from start to finish, and there's no doubt that they'll make it a double-digit victory. For the Raiders, questions a quarterback will make it difficult for them to find much consistency in this one, especially against the league's best defense. 
For the 49ers, Purdy has been strong since becoming the starter, and with a running game that should dominate against a beat-up Las Vegas run defense, that ability to control the game will be the difference. Additionally, according to Covers.com, the 49ers are 5-0 ATS in their last five games on grass and are 5-0 ATS in their last five games, following an ATS win. Our team pick is 49ers, minus 9.5. The 49ers defense is going to be a huge challenge for this Raiders offense that has just changed their starting quarterback for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that Stidham doesn't have very much experience, throwing for less than 100 yards this season. Against this defense, Stidham is going to face a lot of pressure that will force him to scramble. Once he is out of the pocket he has to worry about Hufanga and the strong secondary, which leads us to the next reason the 49ers ability to stop the run. With Stidham likely facing a lot of pressure when it comes to the passing game, the Raiders will want to stick to the ground game, however, the 49ers defense stomps teams that rely on the run game, so this will become a bad option for the Raiders. With this being said, Las Vegas won't score very easily, and Purdy being pressured by Crosby will force the 49ers to run more, so expect a low-scoring affair. Our total pick is to take the under, 41.5 points. Los Angeles Chargers vs Los Angeles Rams the Los Angeles Rams entered this one with confidence. They were dealt a loss in Green Bay two weeks ago and rebounded with a dominating 51-14 home win against the Broncos on Christmas in a bout that had the Rams marked as small three-point dogs. Los Angeles has now won two out of their last three games. It's been a very disappointing season for the defending champs and injuries have certainly played a factor. They have covered the spread in four out of their last five games. Baker Mayfield will get the start as Matthew Stafford is out for the season. Mayfield was outstanding last week, recording 230 passing yards. The veteran QB struggled as a member of the Panthers, but has looked good in three games since arriving in the trade, and has 1884 passing yards and a 10-7 TD to int ratio. Cam Akers had a season-best 118 rushing yards last week. It's been a subpar year for the 23-year-old running back, amassing only 559 rushing yards on 3.8 yards per rush. The Los Angeles Chargers are aiming a fourth consecutive victory. They have also won four out of their last five games, propelled by outstanding defense. They beat the Dolphins, Titans and were small 3.5-point favorites in a convincing 23-road win against the Colts last week. The Chargers are in control in the AFC wildcard. LA Dodd has clinched at least the last wildcard spot and can potentially move up to the first wildcard spot. They have covered the spread in two out of their last three games. Justin Herbert has been spectacular. The 24-year-old QB has eclipsed 300 passing yards in three out of his last four games, including 367 yards against the Dolphins. Herbert has accumulated 4254 passing yards and a 21-10 TD to int ratio on the season. Herbert will throw picks, tossing three interceptions in his last two games. Austin Eckler has not seen a ton of action, receiving 15 or fewer carries in four out of his last five games. The veteran RB had 67 rushing yards last week and leads the squad with 759 rushing yards on 4.1 yards per carry on the season. Eckler was limited in practice this week and is questionable. Mike Williams has reached the 100 receiving yards mark on five occasions this year. The 28-year-old WR has registered 769 receiving yards. The Los Angeles offense hasn't been lighting up the scoreboard, recording 23 or fewer points in four straight games. The Los Angeles Rams won last week but have lost seven out of their last ten games and continue to play without Stafford, Cup, and Skornick. The Chargers continue to excel, recording a win in four out of their last five games. The Rams' running game has done almost nothing on the ground and I don't expect Rams' QB Baker Mayfield to have notable success against a strong pass defense. The Chargers rank 10th in the NFL in pass defense. Furthermore, the Rams have been exploited in the air all season. They are squandering an average of 226 passing yards per game, ranking them 22nd overall. This is key from a Chargers standpoint as Justin Herbert continues to excel, delivering at least 300 passing yards in three out of his last four games. Our team pick is Los Angeles Chargers minus 6.5 points. Both of the Los Angeles teams have seen the total go under nine times this season, compared to only six for the over. The under has hit four games in a row for the Chargers, and the fifth was a push, and six out of the last seven road games for the Rams. The Chargers are in the playoff hunt, and the Rams have incentive to play hard as they're still figuring out what their QB situation will look like in 2023. Both teams rank below average in points per play, 24th for Rams and 20th for Chargers. The trends are strongly suggesting to trust the under in the battle for Los Angeles. Our total pick is under 43 points.